So you're gonna put a little bit of white in there and then get your colors you want. I'm gonna use a little bit of green and I'm gonna just do like a couple spots. And this is kind of wasteful. So if it's colors that you're going to use a lot of, I would just choose ones that you don't mind wasting a little bit. Not that I don't want to waste these. I just think these would be really cool in a marble effect. So, a little bit of green, a little bit of orange, a little bit of blue. And these all glow. These are all my favorite glows. So, you know, if I run out, I can order more. Just dot them kind of in that white. The white will help it kind of pop. Ooh, so pretty. This is going to be so pretty. And then once you get it how you want it, My swatch is probably dry. Get those, excuse me, get those out of the way. So I'm going to just make sure this is nice and dry. Okay, it is. And you can activate this if you want to, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to take a orange stick, toothpick, whatever you have. And I'm going to kind of mess this up, but pretty, if that makes sense. And go like that. And I'm going to get my base coat. With regular liquids, you have to work a little bit faster. With gel, you have a little bit more time to get it to work, but take it, flip it for your finger, pretend this is your finger upside down, lay it on the marble. If you have a nice thick white base, you'll only have to do one dip. So the marble, if this was my finger, I would take it and go, sorry, and do like this and then the next finger I would move over into this area here so I would do your full white base and then mix your colors and then dip it and then the orange has a little bit of glitter in it so it's kind of cool but since it's the 50th anniversary of Disney I would take a little bit of gold glitter which I have, let's see, da, 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 da. perfect, I'm sure you have gold glitter hanging out, and I would take my brush, make sure there's not a ton of liquid on it, and I would go kind of dot it on these veins of the marble just little tiny dots and then lay it into the gold. Then blow it off. That way, not a lot of it sticks, but you have enough for a really cool marble shimmer. See that? Super easy, super fast. Once you have that white base, and you do your little mixture, you are set, girl. Okay, I hope that helps. If you need anything else, let me know. Don't forget to activate this top coat and you're good to go. If you avoid your cuticles, you won't even have to, have to do any filing or buffing. Just top coat that. Okay, there you go.